Are you spiritually able to hear God? A blessed day to all. This is our reflection for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. In 1522, not long after his conversion, Ignatius Loyola sat praying on the banks of the Cardinal River near the village of Manresa in northern Spain. While he was seated there, the eyes of his understanding began to be opened through a vision. And suddenly, he knew and understood many things in spiritual matters of faith and learning. Ignatius often said that the experience was a pivotal event and it has been noted that afterwards, Ignatius abandoned severe fasting and harsh penitential practices and embraced a more balanced spirituality. It is said that the Cardinal vision led directly to his decision to write the spiritual exercises and the contemplation to attain the love of God. The contemplation has mystical overtones. It presents God who is present in all things, who labors to transform creation and covers everything with a blanket of blessings and gifts. The Ignatian tradition considers the Cardinal vision as a turning point in Ignatius' life and ministry. It is a reminder that Ignatius was a mystic whose desire to hear and know God made him a learned intellectual with much of what he knew coming directly from God. In today's Gospel reading, people gathered around Jesus on the beach as they listened to the parable of the sower. We've seen Jesus perform miracles that brings God's kingdom to earth as it is in heaven. God's promise, made all the way back from the Garden of Eden, is being fulfilled. Jesus is undoing the effects of sin and making all things new. Part of that newness comes through His teachings in parables, which are stories that drives home a point. The point of this one? Simply this. How we listen to God really matters. God's law required careful listening. In Genesis, Adam and Eve were placed in the garden with a command to listen. In Deuteronomy, the daily prayers of God's people began with the words, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Israel wandered in the desert for 40 years due to their failure to listen. They endured 400 years of God's silence before Christ came because they would not listen to His Word. Thus, Jesus opens His teaching with a command, Hear this! It is a very strong command and our response makes all the difference. The question is, will we pay attention? Not everyone gathered on that beach would really hear his message. Many of them had already made up their mind about who he was or wasn't. They were listening without listening. Words going in one ear, landing on a rocky surface of their hearts. To some, Jesus' words seemed to take root. But what began couldn't last. Yet, to others, his word bore fruit. What made the difference? The Bible often talks of having ears to listen. The Apostle Paul says, The natural person does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are folly to him, and he is not able to understand them because they are spiritually discerned. Thus, only those who have ears to hear will be able to understand the power of the parable. 
Jesus quotes from Isaiah, who was sent to tell his generation that they will not listen to God because they have not been listening to him. Since they won't listen, it will be harder for them to understand what God is saying. God will still speak of what's to come, but they won't understand because they don't want to. Now Jesus is in the same situation. We've seen it throughout Mark's gospel. Everywhere Jesus goes, he runs into opposition. But for Jesus, he is not going to let them complicate his message for everyone who wants to hear. He'll speak in a way that the only spiritually abled can hear. May we find our hearts to be like the rich soil upon which God's words fell, and may His words grow and bear fruit and yield thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, you are the rock of my salvation. Help me hear your still, small voice above the relentless roars of the enemy. Tune my ears to your truth and silence the lies of the evil one. Give me discernment and divine direction as I navigate this fallen world. This I ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless couples for Christ and our Catholic faith. <music>